Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Monica Miller Rogers. Mobility is vital for the market, the quality of life of citizens, and society as a whole. Leica Geosystems rail solutions are used in a growing number of projects worldwide. Here to discuss the value of those solutions is Angelica Ortez, the BIM Director for Consorcio EOJET, and Stuart Woods, Leica Geosystems Vice President of Mobile Mapping. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Angelica, let's start with you. Could you tell us more about your company, please? Well, perfect. Yes, first of all, thank you very much for the invitation. And I want to start with what Consorcio EUJET means. So EUJET is the acronym for Urban Engineering and Topographic Studies in Spanish. And we are a Mexican company, actually a family company. It was started over 40 years ago by my granddad, then my dad grew it up, and now I am there <laughs> working. And what has been very important for us is that we have not only remained on the market, but we have remained successfully in the market. And how we did this is that we have invested on technologies and in trained personnel. So this has given us, a, this working philosophy has given us the opportunity to participate on world-class projects, such as the new airport for the Mexico City and the commuter train from Mexico City to Toluca. So the Mexico City project, absolutely very interesting one, but you've actually had the opportunity on some other projects to the, use the Leica Sidetrack One. What did you think about that technology? Well, first, I think it was a great investment for our company as we can make projects faster with less people and this translates into savings for the company and who doesn't want to have savings in their company, right? The information that you can get from it is absolutely astonishing and it, that was said by our clients. Every time they see a project that we did with the sidetrack, they just love it. Now, I'd like to get back to the Mexico City project that sure. you were speaking of. You were able to combine several different technologies on that project. Uh, could you tell us how that worked and what you experienced in doing that? Well, perfect. First, it was a very hard task because we have to convince our client of these technologies. And then we used a different technology for every stage on the project. So we can have these effective, effective workflows. Actually, we are certified with an ISO 2015 9001 2015 for HDS processing. So we are already familiarized with this process. And we can work on several like technologies and the software. And this has been great for us and for our clients. We can get better results, better quality information, and in a shorter period of time. And what are your clients saying about this? Well, they say literally, it is amazing what you can do. This is magic. That's and we say, <laughs> it's not magic, it's engineering. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, Stuart, like a Geosystems has really been focusing yes. on rail solutions. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. I, I think the important thing that you have to think about here is that the, the world is changing, right? The population is growing incredibly fast. Uh, we have people moving to our cities at an incredible rate. And, and this is actually causing stress on the infrastructure. And so this question of mo mobility and, and enabling people in cities to move the way they want to move so they can work and, and take care of their family is really what is starting to see the stress on the rail environment. And so what we're trying to do is enable the cities and the infrastructure to continue to keep up with those types of changes. The challenge I think is interesting is because the rail industry is terribly conservative and very traditional. And in a lot of situations that, has, that you'll find, they're still working in 2D information. And what we're trying to do is, is enable them to move to 3D and to move to 3D a lot faster so that they can keep up with the stress and, and, and the changes to, to the cities. And what do you think moving to 3D over this traditional 2D nature of the rail industry, how is that going to benefit not sure. only the industry, but also the citizens that depend on well, these solutions? It, it, it's really quite interesting because what it really comes down to is, is there are lots of different measurements that have traditionally been done in the rail industry. And they're all uh, incremental uh, single measurements, right? You might have things where you measure the height of the platform, or you might measure the slope of the platform at a train station so a trolley does not roll into the track. 
These were all individual distinct measurements that had to be done separately. And so what we're bringing by capturing everything into 3D, we're enabling the capacity to, to see all those different distinct measurements as one single measurement. And that's, that's never been done before. I mean, even if you look at the other products on the market, they're still stop and start incremental processes and they're not addressing the full continuous capture concept. Let me open this question, this next question up to both of you. Mm -hmm. Now we've been talking a lot about innovations in the rail industry. Where do you think that's going to take this industry in the future? Ladies first. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay, right. So I think that, as Stuart said, projects are based on information. And the better information you can get, the better decisions you're going to make. So definitely I can see that with this information, with better information, with a lot of uh, quality and accuracy on the information, we can make better projects. So this will make projects faster, cleaner, and of course better and more helpful to people. Sorry? Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite fascinated by the fact that the world is constantly changing. I mean, even if you take Mexico City, it's, it's basically a lake bed in yes. parts, right? And so what that means is, is the earth itself is, is moving and changing. And the way I see this progressing, because we're making it and enabling the ability to capture quicker and faster, the, the difference between survey and engineering and monitoring and then real-time monitoring now is within the grasp of what we can achieve. So now IUET can move from not only being a survey company, but a monitoring company. So the, out, the types of services that now we enable them with that single product and that single solution now allow them to sort of monitor Mexico City's rail network as environmental changes happen, as you have rain at certain parts of the year. It, it just opens a completely different um, set of services, but it's also important because these services are those that impact the mobility of the people and using that, that rail network. Well, it's absolutely an incredible time for society and also in this industry of rail. I want to thank you both for being here with us today and sharing your insights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. For more information about Consorcio Iwujet, please visit www.iuyet.com. Dot mx. For more information about the rail solutions of Leica Geosystems, please visit leica-geosystems.com. To watch more episodes here on HXGN TV, tune in to hxgntv.com. Thank you for watching.